Now I would like to introduce our Australia Day Ambassador, Peter McLean, Executive Officer of the Australian Organics Recycling Association. Peter. Thank you, and um, what some incredibly hard acts to uh, follow. Luckily I won't be doing any singing. Uh, so I'll spare you from that, but thank you for those uh, incredible songs. That's the third one uh, this afternoon, so all very, very amazing. Uh, thank you, and good evening, Bellagin Shire, all of the towns and villages that make up this absolutely wonderful area. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to recognise all the dignitaries in the room, uh, Councillor and Mayor of Bellingen, Councillors and Mayor, uh, Dominic King, as well as, of course, recognise our amazing volunteers that are here with us this evening. All types of volunteers, all equally absolutely amazing, thank you. Uh, and of course recognise our Indigenous owners, the Gumbungi people, their elders past and present. I've been an Australia Day Ambassador now for um, nine years, would you believe? And uh, there's a couple of touch points I like to touch on uh, in my Australia Day addresses. Um, this year I decided to pretty much discard all of that and talk about something a little bit different. I've, uh, I, I regularly talk about the value of being an Australian and without this country that we would absolutely have nothing at all. Um, we're a country of roughly 25 odd million people. We are so fortunate and incredibly lucky. There's billions of people around the world who don't have the freedoms and luxuries that we all share. I often talk in detail about why we're the lucky country. Our freedoms, our values, our identity, our culture. We know this and appreciate this, unfortunately even stronger and more than ever through the recent crises with the devastating drought and bushfires uh, in many, many areas of Australia. And this impact has been definitely, uh, this region has been equally impacted as well. This year's theme of Australia Day is a simple one, and one which I really, really subscribe to personally. It's only three words. Everyone, every story. I'll say that again, everyone, every story story and I think that this is such an important theme for Australia. We're all important, we all have stories and that's what make, makes up our amazing culture and our amazing identity as a country. So tonight I wanted to share two stories with you. Not old yarns that I learnt a number of years ago or when I, when I worked for various charities and organisations but two stories I learnt of only this Tuesday. I I, every year with through the Australia Day Council, I get invited to the Australia Day Address. I've never been able to make it. Um, I always and got something else on, and every time they change it and then reschedule it, and I still can't come. But this year, I was in Sydney, and uh, it was great because I could attend. And it was at the Conservatory of Music in Sydney, and I heard from an utterly inspiring resilient, smart, humble and real, real Australian. Her name is Grace Brennan and she's from Warren in New South Wales. She set up the Buy From The Bush campaign. It's given bush businesses the chance to market, sell goods on a national stage and now she's, through that um, means, tens of millions of dollars of goods from the bush have been sold in cities and even hundreds of countries overseas. More importantly, it's given, it's, uh, it's employed more staff, it's even opened new businesses and those extraordinary knock-on, ongoing flow-through economic benefits through all sorts of little towns and villages right across the country. It's absolutely fantastic. One of them being some of the small post, office, post offices have increased their parcel volume by 50%. Absolutely incredible. But of course there's more. It's given hope and saved dozens of businesses and families from losing their dreams. Before that function, 
I was standing around, I got there a little bit early for a change, and uh, I was near another gentleman, and he, I decided to say good day and, and um, ask him how he is and what he's doing and why he might be there for, the, for the, a similar reason to me. He turned out to be the New South Wales Australian the Year finalist. And it was by complete accident that I had introduced myself to him. His background and skills and experience could not have been any more different to Grace Brennan's. Yet, he was utterly inspiring, resilient, smart, humble, and a real Australian as well. His name is Professor Munjab al Majid, and he was a refugee from Iraq. He fled the regime many years ago when, under the regime, he was forced to mutilate soldiers who had defected from the Hussein regime. He took his, that matter uh, quite seriously and well, if he had been caught, he, he wouldn't be here. But now he, makes, he donates his time to Australians, refugees, the disadvantaged and gives mobility as an orthopaedic surgeon and normality to those who need it most. Interestingly, Mujed also told, personally told me when we were just politely chatting outside that he was surprised he was selected. He was even more surprised that he was chosen as the New South Wales finalist. And he hadn't even written a speech or prepared a speech because he knew he, wasn't, he shouldn't have won, especially in comparison to all the other finalists. I politely paused and told him that he was wrong. I told him he was amazing and he was equally deserving and what he had achieved is absolutely incredible. These people are quiet. They're quiet achievers. They don't do it for the accolades. They just love what they do. And through that, they make such an incredible difference. Having been lucky to travel right around Australia on a number of, well, not everywhere, but a lot of different places over the years, uh, particularly in my time I was at Keep Australia Beautiful running the Tidy Towns program, I've been incredibly blessed to see thousands of incredible, amazing, humble, inspiring, hardworking volunteers in all sorts of different capacities to grow their communities. I've personally witnessed across Australia uh, just how this, these members add so much value, whether it be their local community service clubs, of which there's so many, helping at the school canteen, sports clubs, helping the elderly, disadvantaged, social clubs, volunteering in the SES, and RFS of course, St John's, so many more. They're all equally important and they all amazingly contribute to their local communities. I'm personally seeing this right here, right now, today, right in front of us, we have these very people I'm referring to, each and every one of you. So for that, I want to thank everyone. Thank everyone for their amazing contributions to their local community, to Belgian Shire, because it does make a difference. And I know you do it for the love of it, and you enjoy it, and you get so much out of it, but so does everyone else. And you don't always get thanks for it, but I want to say thank you. My fir the, I want to leave you with two messages tonight. My first message tonight is to simply, is simply to say that each and every one of you tonight is their own Grace Brennan, is their own Mujad al Madiris of your own communities and your own villages. So keep understanding your skills, keep building your experience, um, keep building that understanding and how you keep um, adding value to your local communities. You're always going to be Grace Brennan's and you're always going to be inspiring your communities in your own very unique, special ways. My other message is that each and every one of you here tonight needs to go out and further inspire others to find their Grace Brennan's 
or they're more Jad Al Madeiras's. Everyone here has it in them. I've seen this, I know this, and I really do believe it. They need someone just like yourselves to help them find theirs. Thank you.